Hello internet and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark if you don't know me already and today we're back with another typing video but it's a little different today. So I was reached out by uh, the company behind Waver, a typing adventure, a new typing game that just came out on Steam and they sent me a free Steam key and wanted me to check it out. So today is going to be sort of a little mix of a gaming video but also because I've been interested in looking into typing games because I want to make one of my own. If you don't already know, I had a devlog running for several months. And while I'm doing art and learning the ins and outs of things, I thought making a small typing game would be cool. So in the commentary here, we'll also be exploring what this game does differently from other games I've used or websites I've used explicitly to practice. I recently made a video about the gamification on language learning apps. And so I want to see in this game itself, you know, it's not really meant as a tool from what I understand from the advertising, but more so as a game. So just really quick, they're not paying me or I'm not affiliated with this company. This video is more or less first impressions and whatnot. They timed this very well, <laughs> I'll say that. And if throughout the video you're curious at all to check the game out yourself, it's currently on sale. Um, so I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description down below and it's on sale till the end of the week. All right, I will say, oh, they got a little customization going on here. I'm a Cordy guy though, what can I say? Kins squad, brilliant. We'll say, ooh, whoa. I, I do like the look of this, I will admit. Now, if you don't know me already, you're coming across this channel for the first time. I, the, the biggest videos on my channel are typing videos, and I can type it around an average of 170 words per minute. Arrow keys to select, enter to confirm, uh, easy going for beginners, more challenging for seasoned players. I'm not a seasoned player, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> The stadium hums with anticipation as the home team, Kin Squad, seems poised to win. The World Championship Series Pre-Cup. The fans prepare to spur their heroes through the last few minutes with their signature. Wave. It is really cool to look into various typing games. I have an idea of a premise I want to make, but it kind of just copies ones that I used in middle school uh, to learn how to type and whatnot. And so seeing a full-on game that's like brand new and has this influence aesthetic Press E, okay. Oh. I decided not to do like, a, oh, oh, you have to, <laughs> good job, Mark. Um, okay. I decided not, frick, wait, what is this one? Did I miss something? Wait, 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 what did I miss? I, for some reason, I did not connect the dots that the people are in the exact layout as the keyboard is. Which is a little strange to me. Because it doesn't give you like a letter to hit. So I guess this is getting familiarity with the way the game I'm sorry, wait, what? <laughs> There's no shot. <laughs> I'm a little bewildered. I'm, I, I could see this. I, I feel like that had to be intentional to lose. It's cool seeing like a, a deep story into it. It's not just like you have to run fast and then type it all out. I'm hoping it picks up a bit, though. Oh, is this New York? They couldn't do the wave at all. I'm curious if that's... You know, something I've seen in games before, and I'm personally a fan of it, is... 40 years later? Um is seeing them like give you something that you would only be able to do when you, you know, get to later in the game. So I'm curious if you're supposed to be able to do that, but there was a lot happening right there, right? So I imagine, is this like a more in World Cup loss, reform team, wait four decades. All right, I'm ready. Type this sentence, literally that sentence. In there, our opening. Uh, okay, 
Okay, it doesn't really... Average word time, 48 seconds. Words... Ew, 124? I can do better than that. I think I was startled by the fact that it had, um... Like, multiple phases. They do have limits for that. I think membrane keyboards are worse at that. Ghosting or whatever. I'm ready. I'm ready. Fallen from grace. So is this where words are going to come up now? Or not? Full control, what can I say? Oh, I, oh, I think I'm supposed to actually do it in the right order, though. Time is not mine to command quite yet. Oh, the people with the scarves are the home row keys. I didn't notice that. This is very fascinating. Because the, the F and J, that's very helpful, actually. Because, you know, through this whole... Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, I... Nice. Good job, Mark. Alright. I think we won. Let's go! Kin Squad, represent. I'm kind of curious what the, um... What the beginner version is. Get ready to type. Okay. This is kind of cool. One thirty-five. Slightly better. It's weird because the when it switches, it takes me a, an extra like second or two to like think it through. Let me try typist mode because that might be what I'm thinking this is. What, okay, so that was story mode. What is typer? Okay, I'm ready to type. Contact him. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> look at all the achievements on the bottom right. Um, okay. Okay, so there's a straightforward typer. Requires 10 stars. Um, let me change to typist mode, was it? Barton Bankers Club. Serious so milestones will be added as badges. Because I think maybe, maybe classic mode is a different version of this game. That's kind of like just keyboard layout. It is kind of nice because you get to, it's trying to teach you the keys relative to each other, but, oh, never mind. This is the same exact thing. All right, we'll, we'll play through this, but I do find that quite fascinating that it's kind of like giving you the letters. Because even though I consider myself a fast typist, I imagine most of these games right, are trying to get you better at typing. And this is, I think the first time I've seen something approach it in a relative sense. Uh, in other words, like uh, this mode clearly is saying here are the keys to hit. But I suppose I was like expecting more of a uh, when you do the wave, you have to type a word out because I could see that working in a sense. I'm very fascinated at this whole relative positioning idea. I don't know if that's like intentional. So I, I guess I walked in with the expectation that it was gonna be like, type the word hello. But it is cool because it's like a guitar hero, but with a keyboard, I guess? Uh, mechanically speaking. Because your, your ability to type fast doesn't really come in at all. Again, I like the little touch of the scarf thing. That makes it very easy to get around. Maybe the thing that I failed at the start is something you're supposed to get done. Oh, next to G. That's cool. I will say, it's just a different approach and I like it. A letter next to G, like you don't, you don't really think about that all that much. Oh, I hit the bracket by accident. Does it get harder? Do they add in the brackets, do you think? He says to himself in his room. Wow, I have to keep looking at the keyboard because I don't know what the relative positioning is. This is, this is so, this is so strange. Next to X. There's like, there are games where, you know, words pop up and as a fast typer, those games don't, they're really good for learning, right? But there's a there's a cap. One game that I love, a, a game that comes in waves, and the faster you can type words, the more waves you can get through. But there's also a threshold there because it gets redundant. So, you know, how can we take this combination of increasing difficulty over time with something that's still fun to play? Um, maybe I'll discuss my idea at the end of the video, but we'll keep going because I do want to get to the typer mode. I don't know where to look for the sentence to start. Frick! One twenty-six, abysmal. <laughs> I think they do count the the half second or so of when it switches. I don't know. I think it's a good thing to learn. You know, if I'm at 
G and H, you know, which finger should I use to hit those? Because, for example, Ghost, I guess I would do G with the left pointer, H with the right pointer, and O with the right ring finger, so G-H-O. But what if the word involves an E, and I should do G with the right pointer finger or something? So it, it totally tackles muscle memory from a different point of view, I guess you could say. Because it's kind of like, what's, whoops, <laughs> what's three from the right? You know, what's five from the left? Three from the, frick, out of order. <laughs> what up, gamers? Oh, full control, let's go. Perfect. I thought, I didn't realize this was gonna be so, uh, focus grabbing. Frick, next to F is G. You know, that, I love the, I love the scarf. That's such a small detail, but incredibly useful. It's funny that I did so well on the one where you can see the letters, because it, it, accidentally it shows me how much of a difference it makes. Of like, you know, if it, if it's an F, I just hit F. But if it's all relative, <laughs> that, I didn't expect that. Because you- also what's nice is that you really can't look at the keyboard for this. Because you need to see the wave timing. Really? <laughs> buy headlamps, buy batteries for press claustrophobia, okay. Remember if you control before events? Get ready to type. Okay, we're gonna break 150 right here. Frick. Involve a ball. God damn it. There are goals. Or at least, this is literally me with sports. What we do know is that it can be played under... Abysmal, abysmal... We're doing that again. No, get me out of here. Come on, Chief. Go, go back. That, that one second hesitation does throw me off, but... I'm not realizing how helpful the cursor is on, like, other websites. Alright, last one. We'll wrap it up with some thoughts. You know, is, will this be good if you want to get better at typing? The key on the timing is to definitely not look at the keyboard. But that, not gonna lie, it's kind of, it's kind of tough. I gotta rely on the scarf, boys. Didn't see that one. Alright, we got lime, salmon, and we got a scarf boy, okay. One, two, three, four. Lime, salmon, scarf boy. Let's go! Alright, we're gonna just scrape. It's the worst timing I've ever had in my entire life on just about anything I've ever done. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> I love that. Damn, not even a star. Break. Anyway, that is Waver. So I just wanted to talk briefly about it general game thoughts, uh, and then, you know, is it helpful if you want to improve your typing? So as a general game, I think it's very cool. I think arcade style is definitely the right way to explain it, I suppose. And, you know, there's a bigger story at hand here, but the idea I think I really like. Now, totally overthinking what this game is trying to do. The main idea, I believe, right, is it's taking your keyboard and turning it into a unique controller. You know, Dance Dance Revolution is up, down, left, right. This is 26 different keys that you can use. So there's, there's a whole lot going on in terms of, you know, which key am I hitting in the first place? And I guess that's why the first one's called typist. When you don't, you know, when you see the letters there, that is for, you know, people like me, typists. But when you remove the letters, it adds an extra sense of challenge, which segueing into what I really want to talk about at the end here, in terms of <laughs> this video being on this channel, is does this improve your ability to type? Now, I made a whole video about how typing fast is kind of a useless skill. Uh, you can check that out in the top right corner. I actually think this would be kind of cool to experiment with. First off, those people with the scarves represent F and J. These two keys on your keyboard have these little bumps on them. Just home row stuff. But it's what I really like is that it challenges your finger positioning because you have to A, get around the keyboard fast. You know, on the typist mode, you can be, okay, I have to hit Q, E, then N, then P or whatever. But this way, it's, it's you know, I have to hit the key that's three from the left on the top row. Or, you know, I have to get from the top left to the bottom middle to the top right again and do it in time. So as, a, as an arcade style game, I really like it. But also, 
it's just a cool typing game. You know, if you want to put on typist mode and learn how to touch type, it seems like a cool resource uh, and a more fun way to do things. So just, as far as games like these go, I really like the visuals and the sound was great. And that goes a long way because a lot of these typing games you can kind of find on the internet don't have that. Um, so yeah, the game is on sale at 40% for the rest of the week. I feel like I can do at least that for the, you know, 100 people maybe that watch this video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely leave a comment with your thoughts down below. Hit like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Not at all what I expected. I expected to be typing words, but typing the characters and challenging my, I guess, reflexes and spatial awareness. Anyway, I'll definitely play more of this. If you want to watch me play more, check out the Catano Arcade. I'll leave a link in the description. I never really thought to plug that channel, never really intended to, probably won't in the future, but I definitely see myself playing more of this game because someone brought up recently that spatial awareness is potentially a relevant or correlated skill in typing. And this really does challenge that because the keys don't have letters anymore. It's more so about their relative uh, spacing to each other. Thank you for watching this video. If you are curious about more typing content, that's on screen now. Some of my devlogs are also on screen now. For anyone who followed those, they'll be returning this semester. I'm making Seashell a very big project. So thanks again to Waver for sending me a Steam key, but more so thanks to you for watching. So have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.